friends, I made it to Paris. I'm here in Paris. Just got off the metro and now I am going to find my hostel because there was five companies that owe me money. None of them paid me. So, couldn't get a hotel today. I gotta get a hostel here in Paris, but it should be okay. Because tomorrow I'm going to two expos. I'm going to Yapa Amusement Park Expo. And I'm going to Premier Vision, which is a design expo. And you know what? It's a great adventure. To follow your dreams is a great adventure. And I want to encourage you. You know, I got on this trip with about $200. I've been gone for 10 days. I got a lot of good stuff happening here in Europe, also in Cancun, and very, very amazing news coming soon. So check this out. This is the Gare du Nord train station here. Beautiful Paris, September. Hey, can't complain. Seventeenth of September two thousand and nineteen, and it's time to go to sleep. I'm here at Premier Vision. I'm going to show you briefly a little bit of this amazing expo. It's about sourcing materials to develop clothing lines. There's all sorts of products here from zippers to textiles to all types of things from uh, manufacturing companies as well. Water and room in face, water face art. It's trail which we know like a thousand years ago. Travel from China to on the Silk Road to Asia, Iran, and 500 years ago in Istanbul. Some example. Like um, like this one. You will see now on the skin even. Just uh -huh. it's enough to touch. Yeah. Wow. And then you. And then, how, and then how do you transfer it to the to the paper? paper just I need to put you put paper the paper on, yeah. paper on top that's and that's exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. But, well, white one is here. Normally I use the black because uh, black is show us more nicer color. Let's show you on the white paper here. And this is uh, acrylic paint. This is a water based color, like a natural pigment you add inside water and one other liquid which we say ox skull we get from ox animal ox. also we have in our body that that liquid uh, it smells so bad and it make the color can spa separate surface the water and don't crush each drops inside each other and it's a transfer stick to paper my name is Garip and surname I I'm from Eastern of Turkey but I live in Istanbul that last 50 years well, literally thousands of exhibitors two days of walking and walking, but I got some really, really good contacts. I'm just waiting here for the train and I'm gonna give you a little tour of this beautiful, amazing city, Paris. Let's go.
you know, as you can see, this city is beautiful, amazing. I mean, it's breathtaking. They're the, probably one of the most beautiful cities in the world. But you know what? The Eiffel Tower is in the back, and that's also an amazing monument. And everything you see that's beautiful, amazing, breathtaking, took time to build. You know, nothing is built overnight. And so it is with our dreams. You know, today that I went to Premier Vision and, you know, there's so many components to just making a pair of jeans. There's a zipper, there's the buttons, there's a thread, there's the denim, there's all these things to make a jacket. There's more stuff, there's patches you can put, you can screen print, you can, I mean, there's so many things. It's like making a cake, you know, for you make a cheesecake, you have all these ingredients. And it's the same thing in fashion, it's the same thing with your dream, with your brand. You gotta get all these ingredients and you gotta make sure that you know what you want. What type of end product you want. Do you want a cheap cheesecake? Just go buy a box, you know, and you can make it in five minutes. You want a real croissant, fresh French croissant, then you gotta find different ingredients. The good thing is that in the world, there's everything, but you need to find those ingredients. Everything is already here. If it doesn't exist, hey, someone will invent it or you can invent it. That's how things are created, because of need. So, what is your dream? What do you want? Pick the ingredients. Don't just throw stuff and see what comes out. You know? Once you find the pieces, then you need to figure out who's gonna put them together. Because I'm not an expert at sewing. I'm not an expert at a lot of things. So my next step is to find who's gonna manufacture my dream. Who's gonna manufacture the next step for my brand. You know, this trip was a little bit crazier than others because I wasn't sure if I was going to make the trip because literally there was so many companies right now that hadn't paid. You know, now the problem is that not that I don't not have money, is that now you have to deal with a lot of companies that don't pay on time and you know, you run behind on paying other people and so, you know, it becomes sometimes a mess. And, had very little money I just had the plane ticket but you know a day before I was about to cancel and something told me you know you have to go there's three expos that I had to come to and lots of meetings and new contacts that I was gonna make and you know what I'm glad I made the trip not only because you know the contacts I made which three new amazing projects in Italy some stuff also uh, in France and other countries, but you know what? It also reassured me again that when you take that step, you know, it's a step of faith. It's a, it's a step of risking it, you know? You actually see the results eventually. You know, yeah, a few people just paid, I'm leaving today, a few people just paid yesterday, which great, but you know what? I had everything I needed for this trip. And when I got to Paris, uh, everything was booked anyway. All the hotels were booked. Everything was, you know, over 400 euro a night. So I just ended up finding a youth hostel, um, <clears throat> which is actually great, but I wasn't sure how great it was going to be, you know, sharing, uh, sharing, you know, room with people, all that stuff that obviously I've done in the past. But, you know, sometimes 
you feel like, hey, you know, why do I have to do this again? You know, why didn't just the money could come? And so anyway, I arrived in Paris and I went up to the um, to the hostel and checked in. And hey, it's a six uh, room pe uh, people, three bunk beds, and they gave me the key. And I went up and you know I walked in the room. At least it was three rooms divided, two per room. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm fine, no big deal. Even if there is no, okay, it's only three nights, you know. And so I put all my stuff in the in the bed, and then suddenly I opened the window, and wow, to my surprise, look what I saw! Wow, this amazing, amazing view of where I'm standing today. And you know, it taught me a little bit of how sometimes we're looking so much into what we don't have. You know, we're looking so much into the environment where we are right now, not knowing that, you know, maybe in that environment, there's a little light, there's a little surprise in it. And that's what I realized when I saw that view, I was like, wow, okay, yes, I'm staying here for three nights, big deal, you know, it's not like 10 years ago when I was staying at a hostel only with about $10 in my pocket and not really knowing what was going to happen. Today, I know that my brand is a success, I'm working in a lot of different countries, I'm doing a lot of stuff, you know? And so I want to encourage you, instead of looking where you are, don't look only in your surrounding, don't only look at the obstacle, open the window and look to the horizon, because look what I saw. in Paris. Mm, look at this. Uh, mm, I, just had, I had to have this for breakfast. Delicious. Goodbye from Paris. Hello, New York. Remember, always follow your dreams, and I'll see you next time from somewhere around the world.